Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about awful foundations that I have tried over the years that are expensive and definitely not worth the money. I went through all of my foundations and when I say all of my foundations, it's actually ridiculous like two drawers filled to the brim. It's a real problem actually. The makeup addiction is real. The amount that I hold on to is really unnecessary, but from time to time, I do like to bring you guys, you know, videos of things that didn't work out. And I was realizing recently that I have done a worst drugstore foundations video. And I have also done the best foundations, drugstore, luxury, but I was searching like on my own channel, which by the way, if you are ever curious about anything, if you're like, I wonder what Tati thinks about blushes or bronzers or a get ready with me. There is a search tab when you go to my YouTube channel that you can type in anything. And I actually do that to reference if I've talked about a product before because I've been doing YouTube for a really long time. So sometimes I forget, but something that I was really kind of wowed at is that I have never done a dedicated bad luxury foundations video. So that's what we're doing today. Let's all get excited. I need a brush, brush, anyone? Um, before we get started, who would like a tutorial on this look? It's actually really easy. I used my vamp stamp again, and I really wish I had been filming the whole thing because it turned out so pretty. I love this whole makeup look. I could do this every day of my life and be happy. Okay, so let's stop talking about everything but foundation and actually get to the video. I have everything in front of me. Now, if these work for you, you guys know, you do you. Skin is gonna be different on every single person. So some of these that didn't work for me are gonna be awesome on other skin types. I'm gonna go through whether they're full coverage, what the finish is. Um, who they're made for specifically and go over every ounce of information that I possibly can give you. So we're gonna start with this one right here from Stila. Now this is the Stay All Day Foundation. This is one that when I saw the pump, I was really intrigued. It has this very interesting, almost skincare style pump. I've never seen this on a foundation, but I have seen it on skincare items before where you actually go, oh God. I haven't used this in a long time because I was like, you're bad, you're in the back of the drawer, but, ow. I was like, you're bad, you're in the back of the drawer, but maybe I'll hold on to you for a rainy day. I don't know what my deal is. I hang on to foundation. Do we see the problem? This part gets all dried and funky and nasty and pumping it down, it actually kind of splats everywhere. So you run the risk of getting it on your shirt or wherever you're getting ready in front of you. I know I had that happen. Like I was sitting on a really nice white chair, like brand new, like a little stool. And I went to like pump a foundation and it was just like, Phew! and foundation is so hard to get out of things. So this is a hazard. I love me a good pump, but this kind of a pump is like dangerous watch out, you have been warned. So in here, we have a long wear foundation. This is oil-free, fragrance-free, comes in nine shades, said to last all day long. And initially, the formula feels really, really nice. My problem with this is it has that typical long wear, kind of a freeze type of a feeling on the face that can gather in your fine lines. So it looked good on my cheeks, but it did exaggerate right here right here around my nose um, when I had my 11s, which I took care of. <laughs> I still have them, guys. If you have baby smooth skin and you don't mind anything settling in lines on your face, then this truly is a nice long wear formula. It says it's full coverage. I've seen better. My Milani Conceal and Perfect is more full coverage than this. This is more a medium to full. It's not gonna completely cancel everything out. I just don't like it. I love Stila. You guys know I did a full on dedicated video on all those glittery eyeshadows and I love those, but this foundation just did not work out. And it's <clears throat> $40. So $40 for an ounce, that is up there in price. When you compare it to like Milani Conceal and Perfect, that's 10 bucks that works better in my opinion. This is gonna be hard. I've actually held on to this and I'm having a hard time saying anything bad about this brand because I love them so much. I love what their company stands for. I love the people that I've met that work for the brand, but you know, I just keep things very, very authentic here on my channel. I really aim for that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I don't like this. I don't like this. I wanted to, I tried it a few times and I'm gonna be super freaking harsh about this. It is just, it's like a waste of time. I don't even know what this is. It's a water blend foundation from Makeup Forever and it's for the face and body. 
I think I held on to this because I was like, well, maybe I'll use it on the body because they do have a really beautiful face and body product already. And even MAC has a gorgeous face and body and it does look gorgeous on the skin. That's a makeup artist trick to do on set is to really use makeup on the body, not just the face. So I was like, oh, maybe this will be really, really nice. It is like wiping water on your skin. It doesn't give any coverage. It doesn't really do anything super moisturizing. It has a watery feeling, but then it dries down to almost a very tacky, sticky texture. And it just, you're kind of looking in the mirror like, eh? was that supposed to cover anything or even me out? Cause I'm super confused. You want it to do something cause you're paying the big bucks for it. I want to like tip my hat to make it forever for always having a wonderful range of shades. So even when they brought this out, they did bring out 20 shades. It says it has a dewy finish. It's supposed to feel light. It's supposed to improve elasticity. I just feel like I would rather use skincare than this. And I'm just confused by it altogether. Love you make it forever, but this one is and it's $43. This one is not as expensive. It's not $43. It's 42. So this is from Natasha Denona, and this has an SPF of 15. Um, let me tell you some good things about it. It comes in a pump as well. You guys know what I'm attracted to. Everything in a pump is A-OK -okay by me. Um, this one, my issue with it is, God, and this pump is really unreliable, is a very thick foundation, but very luminous and dewy. And I just look like a greased out mess by the end of the day with this product. Now I have tried this one over and over and over because it's one of these foundations that is highly rated that a lot of people love. And this just goes to show you that not everything is gonna work the same for everyone. I don't like this. I think my mom might like it. I have a few girlfriends with really dry skin that want full coverage and a dewy finish that might enjoy this. But for me, it just felt really greasy and I just did not like the feeling of it. And I didn't like how it made me just a shiny reflective mess so quickly even if i set it with powder you know she does have a new foundation coming out that i am waiting impatiently for you guys know i love natasha denona i actually used her eyeshadows today this palette is so good. I'm gonna talk about this one last time on my channel and then I'm getting rid of it. I don't know why I've still held on to it. It's a weird, weird thing that I do when I spend a lot of money on products. I feel like, well, maybe I didn't like it, but I'll just enjoy looking at the jar or maybe I'll change my mind or maybe I'll just open it from time to time and have memories of it not working out. I don't know why I hold on to it. It's so weird. Okay, so this is from Sicily. This is the Anti-Aging Lift Foundation. Now, I have tried out a bunch of Sicily products on WTF. I recently really loved their liner and I used it with the Vamp Stamp today and it worked out so freaking perfectly. I can't even tell you. That tool and that liner, A plus, match made in heaven. This foundation, however, is just a mess for me. And it's not that it's so super, super bad. It's like very hydrating type of a product. And I hate that it comes in a jar. Can we just talk about that? Ugh, why do I wanna poke my fingers in there and get bacteria everywhere? This one is super hydrating. It's supposed to be a lifting foundation as well. It has a satin finish. It's not gonna be full coverage. They only have eight shades. So there's your like, you know, roundabout information on this product, but wait for it. The reason this was a WTF item, it smells like it's gone bad too. Ew, you need to go buy. This is $195. Made for a fun video, looked horrible on my face, did not give enough coverage, did not lift, did not firm, did not do much. I mean, maybe this again is one of those that over time is infused with skincare and would improve things. But I'm at the point where I'm like, dude, I do enough skincare already that is excellent that when I put on my makeup, I just want it to look like good makeup. I don't need it to like slip and slide around because it has all these botanical ingredients in it. I might change my mind down the line, you know, but right now where I'm at in my life, I, I don't wanna say I don't care about the ingredients, but I am willing to put time into my skincare routine and then just have my foundation be foundation instead of paying $195 for a product like this. I have another interesting thing to share with you guys. 
Uh, this one right here, this is like, this was not on my list of products. Like I was going through my drawer of foundation, pulling everything out, touching, playing, testing, researching. And then this morning I was like, oh, I haven't tried this one in so long. This is from Givenchy. This is the Tint Couture Long Wearing Fluid Foundation. It's illuminating and comfortable. It literally says it's comfortable on the package and it is. This is a great foundation. I really, really love this foundation. It is long wearing and I have been a fan of this for a long time. I just hadn't used it in forever. But wait for it because recently, and this has just been like a back and forth thing, I'll do like one day on, one day off. I have been hooked on this foundation right here from Wet n Wild that is $5.99, okay? Every time I use this, I'm incredibly amazed. I look in the mirror, it doesn't settle in my lines. It evens me out. It doesn't look too heavy. It doesn't oxidize. It photographs well. It wears all day. The list goes on, $5.99. And I used this today thinking, oh, this is kind of a dupe. They're like a similar consistency, similar feel, similar coverage. And I'm not gonna dog on this one and say that this is not a good foundation because it is. This one is really, really good but it's so expensive. So I'm kind of throwing a dupe in the mix of this video because this one is a little bit better even. Oh my God, I know, and this one's $5.99. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you are looking for kind of a medium sheer, not overly dewy or radiant, but not matte, like somewhere right in the middle, in the middle, in the middle of your decisions. I have not eaten lunch yet and I cannot talk when I am hungry. Like my words just all go like mah, mah, mah. If you're looking for a liquidy foundation that is sheer to medium, that feels great on the skin, that is gonna be long wearing, this one's $5.99. You should totally try it. And I'm a luxury addict. I love expensive makeup, but this one is so good. Let's talk about another super ridiculous expensive product that I just need to get rid of. And it also takes up way too much space. Why is this so big? Is this body butter or is it foundation? Okay, so this is the Armani, it has like a sentence for the name, seriously. This is the Armani Supreme Glow Reviving Tinted Cream. Whew, I got it in one try. No, I didn't, it's just clever editing. I got the wrong shade. I used to use self tanners a lot more than I do now to be fair, but I went to the counter and this is the one that they're like, oh, this is what you should get. Now you put it on the back of your hand and you're like, oh, this is foundation, this is crazy. Yes, it has anti-aging properties, but it's $200. There are only seven shades. It's a really hard match. This is the shade number four, medium glow. And this is supposed to help anti-age your skin and give you a little bit of light coverage. It gives you more coverage, I would say, than this one right here from Makeup Forever, but it just doesn't do enough. And again, it just feels like a moisturizer that kind of you know, sinks into the skin and then you're left with that little bit of almost waxy shine, but it has color in it. So it just leaves a weird texture on your face unless you're extremely, extremely dry. Now this one from Tarte is their Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. I have the shade Medium Tan Honey. I was way darker when I bought this last year. I think early summertime I got this and it just makes you look like cake face, powder face mess. I don't like it, it's too heavy, it enhances everything that you don't want to enhance. If you don't get rid of your vellus hair, girl, that hair on your cheek is going to be like showing loud and proud for everyone because this wants to grab on any baby hairs at all. It does cover, like you can get a nice amount of coverage out of it, but it just looks really heavy and thick, so I don't like it. It does say that this one from Tarte has some anti-aging benefits in it, not exactly sure what that's about in a powder. I don't really know. It is $35, crazy expensive, but who wants cake face? Go for it. If you're really, really into a powder foundation that actually won't look cakey, that looks creamy, uh, Jane Iredell makes a beautiful mineral foundation. You can buff it on the face with a kabuki brush, spray a little setting spray to take down the powderiness, and your skin will be flawless. It is a beautiful powder foundation. It will look creamy and not overly heavy, and that's what I was hoping this would do, and it just it didn't. This is uh, 22 
Cho Sung Ga. I am botching that, I'm sure of it. This comes in four shades, not a lot going on. I picked this up at Sephora, I believe, when I got their bouncy eyeshadows. I thought this was kind of cool too. It was just like a texture thing. I was like, oh my God, it's putty foundation. I'm a makeup addict. I need to find out what that's about. Putting it on, it's just like you've wiped concealer all over your face. It is not cute. There's not a real good way to sheer this down either. And it just crumbles and is not good. I wore it once and I was just like, oh, and I just broke the thing. Good for me. Um, I wore it one time only. I could not wear it again because it literally was one of the worst makeup days I had ever had. Mm -mm. This one is $36. Oh my gosh, horrible foundations. I love a lot of these brands, so I hope that they still love me because there are other products that they make that I love so much. But I just wanted to tell you guys what didn't work for me, why it didn't work for me. And I know if you go to Sephora or Ulta or just any online store where you're shopping for makeup and you type in foundation, you just get page after page after page and it's so overwhelming. So I do hope that this was informative for you guys. Let me know what you wanna see next. I know I was gonna do a primer video and not the foundation, but a lot of you guys on Snapchat, you were sending me snaps. You are like, foundation, foundation, foundation. So let me know if you enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up and I will do a primer one next, a worst awful luxury primers because Lord knows I got lots of those hiding in a drawer. Um, yeah, that is it. I love you so much and I will see you all in tomorrow's video which is a crazy, bizarre beauty products video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I hope to see you then. All right, bye guys. Mwah.